crystal with pineapple papers and today I am going to be working with the fancy pants everyday circus line and I have several paste papers some tags uh, some cards so I'm gonna see if I can use this up a little bit I have also pulled out some fabric flowers some stickers from October afternoons thrift shop. I like this clip that says yes from Smash Clips. Some corduroy brads, some enamel dots. Um, I'm going to use these stars I think from Heidi Swap and then some doodads from October Afternoon Woodland Park. So let's see what I come up with. Okay so this is the picture I'm going to be using. It is a picture of me and my friend Tiffany at the rodeo this year. And um, we took all the kids all by ourselves this year. And as you can see, my tape runner ran out immediately. So I'm using some of the cards. I have a really hard time with using the cards because I don't do project life and so I seem to have a ton of cards left when I have a collection so instead of using a ton of the pattern paper which I could have very easily done I just decided to go through the journaling cards or pocket cards whatever they are and use those for my layering so I'm super happy that I got to use up a bunch of those. Now that banner that you see on the bottom actually was a banner on a four by six card. And it was almost like an invitation card, which I could have used if I was doing a birthday page or something like that. But I decided I'm probably not gonna do a birthday page with this collection. So I just cut out the banner and actually got rid of the rest, which is kind of amazing. So I bought this collection at convention last year. And so this is Thursday night before convention started. And I really felt like I was going to try and use up some of the stuff that I had bought last year. So I didn't feel so guilty buying so much stuff this year. And I did a pretty good job. So I do like that journaling card that says kind of a big deal with the pink elephant. I think it's super cute. And I actually thought it would make a pretty good title. But it doesn't actually make the page, I don't believe. So this is a beautiful wood grain in blue. And I love that the background paper is a wood grain that almost looks like like a projector of different color stars on it. So I decided that I wanted to bring in some of that wood grain blue as well. Now these fabric flowers have been in my stash forever and I even wasn't going to bring flowers to convention because I haven't been using a lot of flowers and I have a ton of them. But I grabbed my big ones just to have them there and I ended up using them on quite a few layouts. Now there are these little tags and then it's like an envelope. So there was a package of tags and a package of envelopes. So I decided I'm going to put the envelope behind the picture and if I can actually find our rodeo tickets I'll probably stick them in there and it also came with these little tickets on a roll and I thought that was pretty appropriate now that flare says photobombed and that girl I have no idea who she was sitting behind us but she wasn't intentionally photobombing us. She just happened to be in the picture. And if I cut her out, I, f I didn't like how it was going to make me look. So 
in order to to keep what I liked in the picture, she had to be there and photobombed. So I thought that was cute. So these are just some October afternoon word stickers that I'm putting around. I have one that says keepsake and the good stuff. And that's what I figured would imply that the, the tickets were in there. So just doing a little bit of embellishing. I wanted to try and see what all was in the kit that I could use up and get on this page and I truly love how it turned out. All the little bits and pieces. I thought it was a perfect first layout for our scrappy weekend adventure down in Mesa. And I think the only thing that I really add is I do end up adding that smash there it is right there it says yes that little clip in red so oh I forgot so those Heidi swap little stars I used every single one of them that was left on that sheet and they're super cute. They're almost like enamel dot like. And then speaking of enamel dots, I did bust them out as well. And we'll add a few of those. So I think I got everything on this page that I had originally picked out, which if you watch my videos, you know that that's pretty impressive. Most of the time I pick out a bunch of stuff and then don't use a good portion of it. Now, these super cute corduroy brads I've had forever, but the texture on it is so cool. And I liked that it brought in the pink from the envelope up top. Now, I forgot my paper piercer, which was kind of sad, but um, I had uh, a little scalpel that I used to make my holes, which worked just fine. It wasn't, it wasn't an issue at all. So I really hope that you have enjoyed the process and it looks like the lighting is okay for when I was in convention. So I have a few other layouts that I videoed at convention, so I'll be getting those up shortly. If you haven't checked out uh, my layout share, um, definitely go. And here are some close-ups. So we'll see you in the next video. Remember to wear your crown and push like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.